Okay. Depending on how this transmission is set up is where these balls go in. Um, we're set up for street and track on this one. This heavy duty street and then track. There's three different levels, but street and track uh, are together on this one. Okay, it varies throughout. So we have to put the one, we have to put one 11 30 seconds ball in location six, which is right here, that's the big ball. Then we have to put a 3 8 check ball with the spring first and a ball on top in location seven, which is right here. Baby's dangling out. Then we have to put in for street and track, we have to put four quarter inch balls, one through four locations, which is right there, right there, right there, and right there. This is actually one, two, three, and this is location five, six. Okay, location five, we don't put one there. Uh, no, I got that wrong. It's one, two, three, four, five. So we go one, two, three, four, five we leave out for our modification. We have the three eighths, uh, we have the 11 30 seconds, and we have the three eighths one in there. Okay, and that's also where we modified it. Now, if it was just for heavy duty use, which is the lowest version of this kit, we had to put that ball in. So that ball stays out. So obviously they want some fluid to rush through there pretty quick. Um, that's all assembled. So basically what we have to do is we're going to have to put the separator plate and casting on top of the valve body, put them together. Then we're going to put the um, springs back in there, the pressure springs, and put the cage around it. And this should be complete. I'll go over this one more time, but it looks like I got it. And that's it. Okay, it's pretty much together. These three, three screws sticking out for the filter. Basically, at this point, they they have you put the cage back on for the um, line pressure uh, regulator. Okay, there's your adjustment spring. And basically it's two screws up here. It looks like one cage, but when it comes around it, it looks like two cages, but when it comes around it becomes one. And they want you to take a measurement from the edge of this to the edge of this, and they want an inch and seven eighths is what they want. And they give you a little gauge. So basically you loosen these two screws and you rock it back and forth. And it's funny to think you're adjusting the two moves. And they want it basically, I would say right about there, that's as close as I'm going to get it. So we'll tighten down the two screws and then we'll make the other adjustment. Okay, I'd say we're good. They're already tight. Let's move on to the other one. We have to adjust the uh, throttle valve, okay, to this stop screw right here. And basically they want an eighth of an inch and they tell you to use the drill bit for that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have a very hard time filming this. But basically, here's your throttle lever for throttle pressure. There's your throttle valve. We're gonna go eighth of an inch between these two and the way we adjust that is there's a screw right over here just keeps it from coming out further okay it's not even close right now i'll try my best to film this but they tell you to put the eighth inch bit in here okay there's a screw right here which has a head on it and as i do it i don't know if you guys can see the arm going in it's almost like setting your accelerators on a holly Okay, I see a slight bit of movement there. I think by the time I tighten up the jam nut, it always pulls it a little looser. So let's get in there and do that jam nut, which is going to be a little hard the way I got this set up. So I'll put you on pause. Okay guys, this is what I was just showing you. 
down here where my thumb is, there's the jam nut. Here's a screw head that sticks out. That prevents this from going any further out. And there's the, the clear, oops, there's the clearance we needed in there. We need an eighth of an inch. So basically I had to tighten that screw down to um, take away a little bit of the clearance. So basically when you reset this up on your car, it's basically going to push this thing further under normal driving conditions so it shifts a little later and firmer. Okay, so I'm going to tighten up that jam nut and I'll recheck the measurement and uh, we'll be good. Okay, we now have to make the line pressure adjustment, which would be nice if this was on something. There's a plate right here. If you look, there's an Allen key sticking through, which is machined. It's threaded to this plate right here. That Allen key has a step, so the Allen key can't go up and down. Okay, and when you turn it, this plate goes down to increase pressure and goes up to decrease pressure. We gotta take a measurement from that plate to the casting in between these two screws in that flat area. Okay, and there's three different adjustments depending on what you're running. There's heavy duty, which is an inch and a quarter, street, which is when we're running, that's uh, one and three sixteenths, and then track, which is one and an eighth. And they give you another little gauge here. So, we're not even close. I don't know how I'm gonna set you guys up to do this, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to set these up. I'm just going to have to show you like a before the best I can. It's stuck on my glove. And, uh, and after. I don't know if you guys are upside down. But um, it's nice to have these plastics when it slides around. Basically, we're looking for the second notch in. If you go in here, we are off a lot. We're off a lot. That's a good uh, eighth of an inch, if not better. So, can you guys see that? I know it's hard to see. We have to go, we have to bring it to there. So that's how much, oops, we have to lower it down. Let's lower it. Okay, I'll do my best to film this. Like I said, you're looking for the second notch. You're looking for... I'll highlight it. Hopefully that doesn't lose where you're looking, but... So that's what you're looking for. Whoops, that notch there. So we ride it right alongside the casting and we come down. And I know it's hard to make out from the angle which I'm at. But, um, I think it actually has to come down just a, whoops, tad bit more, but it's very close. I can't get my hands there. But I would say that we're... Good to go. I'm going to check that with my calibers. Okay guys, that's the end of part one. The valve body modifications. Um, hopefully I filmed enough of it, I'm not really sure. I picked up the camera every once in a while while this was working. Uh, so, we should be good to go. Unless I missed something in one of the steps I couldn't see. <laughs> but, uh, you know, here's the overall picture to show you. That's the adjustment we just did there. The adjustment we did there, if you could even make it out. That was the inch and seven eighths. That was the eighth. This was the one in three sixteenths, I think it was. Yeah, measurement, which I just confirmed. I went in there with my um, veneer caliber. I used a rod coming off the bottom, so we're good to go there. So basically, our throttle lever is set. Our line pressure is set. Um, well, we had to tweak the cage. We drilled out a couple of holes in the separator plate. We took out a wall inside the valve body. Uh, we changed that that one-two governor plug so we could shift at any time. 
Uh, whatever else we did when we were in there, I forgot already. <laughs> Change the seal, put the washer back on top. So I'm going to wrap this thing up in a nice plastic bag, oil it up, and just let it sit till we're ready. And um, I will sit and review these instructions one more time, make sure I got everything, which I'm pretty sure I did because as I go along, especially the way they do it because they list this for three different model 727s that's another thing it's a little app you know when when they read when they write a paragraph they should have a little note underneath like they do in some areas here for the different years but some of them as you're reading all of a sudden they throw it in there so if you're not working on that year I find it easier to just cross it out we'll put a line through it but um all of them should have a note on the bottom of it rather than in, in the paragraph and then they continue on so they put in the middle paragraph and continue on like I said some of the pictures are horrendous um, but uh, we should be good to go